How's it going guys? I'm your host Carvan Gaming. Welcome back to another AQ Challenge Boss episode and today we are not going to be any doing any free to play uh, challenge boss uh, video. Instead today we are going to be facing off against Anim's house guard once again. So Anim has a new house guard that is Jacks of the Deep. So you can see here this is based off one of the bosses from a very very recent quest and that was actually uh, some moderately difficult I would say so obviously Anim doing the test here he has bumped up the power of the boss probably gonna, going to do more damage I'm not sure there are more fanciful effects waiting for us and then he also has a lot uh, greatly increased HP so I'm going to test out my build here I have fought him already but I didn't I haven't managed to win yet so we'll see what we can do here so we got a barrier here and then I'm gonna start out with HCVs just so we can uh, guarantee that we get the job against him. So what I'm going to do for the first part is I'm going to try and get... Oh, uh, maybe should have done it in Spell Slinger instead. Okay, never mind. Uh, we can still do damage. And then now I want to try and get as many Shadow Feeder Pendant turns as possible. Okay, only one. Yikes, that is bad. Okay, so this Jax, he has a soft damage cap, freedom, boss boost, you know, the standard things that every boss would have. He also has this hollow thing whereby he will retaliate with a element each time you hit him so it's like backlash and he also hit with a different element uh, not every turn but uh, every few turns so yeah that's something that you got to watch out for when you're hitting him as well as uh, when you're tanking the attacks from him you want to pay attention he can also lock out your shield and armor I think I got very unlucky just now and he managed to hit me with that lock Okay, so he also has Berserk, which means that uh, he's going to do more damage, but at the same time, he there's a high chance that he's not going to land his hits as often. So, you can try and dodge slash him, but I think uh, dodge slash, we will probably save it for the later half of the battle. So, during the later half of the battle, he can heal quite a lot, and on top of that, uh, it's... What, uh, what do you call that? Yeah, he can heal quite a lot, so we want to make sure his attacks don't hit. And after we are done bursting him with Shadow Feeder Pendant, you probably want to, you know, hold up in your defensive armor as well and try and dodge slash the crap out of him. You can try and dodge slash him all the way, of course, that is still possible, but, you know, uh, this is what I'll be doing. Bursting him in the first half and trying to dodge slash him in the second half. So how that works. Okay, we got, uh, I think there should be more than enough turns to get him down to the first half of his HP. And then pets, we are going to be using our Polala uh, pet for the damage boost. <coughs> Excuse me. Summon Polala here and he will retaliate with wind. So we want to use our wind shield that is Eclipse. No, that is Lost Terran Power. Yeah, I always forget. Okay, wind is 52. If you toggle this on. Wait, no. Does this? Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, already defense against wind. I don't need to toggle that. Oops, I forgot. Okay, uh, Prime Chaos Swap over here, and then we have Mana M turn on as well as Necromancer's Presence for the boost. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do regular haunting. Okay, so let's do regular haunting. Dark haunting. So yeah, you can see how uh, yikes, the backlash hits super duper hard. So something you gotta watch out for. So now I guess he's going to hit me with fire. Okay, so we're going to have fire armor over here. And I will dismiss this guest and I will bring out my uh Cometoid jelly pad for the SP heal. And I'm going to be using optical over here. Okay, so for the SP heal and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be chugging health pots as this pet use my SP. Oh no, I forgot to change the fire shield. Oh my god, I hope he doesn't land any hit. Yes, that'll be bad. Oh god, yeah, I'm taking a lot more damage than I should be. Stupid me, stupid me. Okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I screwed up there, my bad. Okay. Are we going to die from this? I don't know, let's try it out. <laughs> I feel like we might die if we get unlucky. Okay, barely survived. Nice. Uh, Summer Dryad. She used Titan's Fall. <laughs> Let's not forget to use this. Okay, uh, pets. Well, the pets heal our HP this time because I think we are in desperate need of some healing. Okay, Optical. And then we'll dismiss our guest here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chug a HP pot. 
Oh. Okay. Nice heal. Okay. Uh, right. Now, back to Spell Slinger. I feel like we might die here if he nuke too hard. Shall we try and go for it? You know what? I'm gonna try and go for it. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Okay, uh, but instead, I'm not going to do any boost here. No, no boosting whatsoever. Because <laughs> I don't think we can withstand one with boosting. I'm not sure how big of a difference that makes, but let's go ahead and find out. Yeah. Yeah, had it been with the boost, I think we would have died. Definitely would have died. Okay, Summer Dryad, Shields, we'll do Titans 4. Then I am going to chuck a health pot. Nice heal. 200 plus. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. One miss. Wow, that's very, very lucky. And now he shifts to attacking with earth and retaliating with fire. Okay. Attacking. Oh, now pets are locked. Okay. Fine. Oh, so you can randomly lock out one skill. Oh. Uh, one or two of your slots. I guess that's fine. Oh, if he hits you twice, he hits. He locks out two slots. Oh, if he hits you once, he only locks out one slot. And if he doesn't hit you at all, then he doesn't lock out any. Oh, okay, okay. That's quite nice. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I am actually just going to heal first. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything this turn. I'm just going to heal. If I hit him with a spell, I think I'm going to die for sure. So, yeah. Oh. I forgot I should switch to an Earth Shield. But I keep forgetting. Now I'm gonna eat a bunch of damage for no reason. Oh my god. Yep, all of that went to nothing. I keep forgetting to switch my shields. Silly me. Okay, we tell it with fire, huh? So Titans 4. Spell Slinger. Uh we still got one round, okay. Let's do Divers. Okay, nice. We managed to survive. Uh, Fortune Thief. Shield. Eternal Champion. Then drink the health pot. Oh, are we gonna run out of XP? I feel like we might. Okay, nice. Okay, he hit a bunch of times, but no big deal. Let's hop a little bit more here and now this is where I want to go into Dodge Lash. Okay, so for Dodge Lash, we have this, the big dictionary, and then we have pets. We'll do test up take trade. <coughs> Excuse me. Because our celerity has run out already, so yeah. Champion Holy Armor. Pardon reinforcements and we'll summon apprentice over here. Ghost costume. Uh, we'll do Titans for yep. And then I guess I just attack. Yeah, I just attack. Okay, we don't need do we need any miscellaneous item? No. Okay. Penalty. Feel like he shouldn't be able to hit me. If he hits me it's probably a one shot. Okay, nice. I am going to chug a HP pot here. Nice. And I think we'll chug an MP pot. Oh, nice. And then I think we need to heal up on our SP as well. SP getting real low. Okay. I think that, yeah, that's the halfway point. Halfway points. Uh, two rounds. Thirty-eight point seven four. Will that be enough? I'm actually not sure. I think I'm going to do walnuts as well, just in case. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case, man. You literally never know. <laughs> if I get hit once. That's it. That's the end of me, <laughs> and that's the end of this battle. Uh, a bit more. SP. Okay. I'm gonna drink the HP pot as well, just to be safe. Yeah, okay, definitely should be missing everything. There we go. 
64 only. Okay. Oh, okay. I think now, now is the cap. Now is where the cap is. Uh, yep, we can do penalty again. Refresh that. Would be nicer if I had a dodge slash item on me now, but I don't. But it's okay. Okay, so we just dodge slash him all the way right now. He also retaliates with void, so we don't really want to get ourselves, uh, you know, tangled up with that uh, void backlash. It's going to hurt a lot, so I'm not gonna bother attacking him. So what you can do right now is, I guess you can take this chance to regenerate MP slowly. You don't have to drink MP pots, you can if you want to. But I'm just going to use the tome here. With the shielding and all that, even without charisma, he should be missing everything because... Oh, oh wait, hold on a minute. Oh, his berserk is gone. Okay, his berserk is gone. But uh, I don't think that's a big deal. Yeah, he should still be missing with such high MRM. Should be missing all of his hits, let's see. By the way, he also heals a whole bunch if you manage to let him land the hits. So you want to be very careful not to allow him to land any hits at all. Okay, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But maybe he switched the gas upkeep to MP. Yeah. Maybe you should do that. Uh switch the gas upkeep to MP. So it's not so taxing on my SP. Okay. Do you need to resummon the gas? I can't remember if we need to resummon it. But I don't think you need to, right? Back to ghost costume. Uh let me see. Let me just do this. Okay, do we need to do this? Yeah, let's just do it just in case. I honestly don't know how this stacks, but let's see. 85, yeah, the thing won't be shooting through that, but what if I use it now? I use Panoply now. Wait, no. Yeah, how well does this stack? Okay, 46. I guess that's pretty good. Yep, he shouldn't be able to hit you. Nice, 790. <coughs> yeah, I need to resummon the guest. The guest is still using SP. Oopsie. Okay, uh, dismiss. I need to resummon it. Yeah, every time you switch the course, you need to resummon it for it to take effect. Summon Apprentice. Get a bit more SP, make sure Titan's 4 is running well. Back to Ghost Costume. We can take this away and... Yeah, I think we can just do this. And I think we should get an easy, easy win here. Just that attack again, no matter. 529, okay, he shifts elements again, we don't need to care. I'm right, gonna drink another HP pot, I don't know if he's going to... Suddenly one shot. I mean, even, uh, I think if he lands a hit, that's it. I think we'll be dead. Oh, now he has a defense boost. Oh, okay. So yeah, Dodge Lash is going to come in very, very handy then. That's the case. Okay, nice. Nine, three, two. Yep, we can slowly Dodge Lash our way to victory. It'll be faster if you had some dodge slashing mist like the summoning stone or like the frost worm mask. I didn't bring that along because that's not part of my regular inventory. I mean, ghost costume isn't either, but just pretend it's Sharap. It works the same way, okay? Yeah, <laughs> just pretend it's Sharap. So yeah, oh, okay. So he should kill himself with this now. Or maybe you can help him. Yeah, let's help him with that. Uh, Sal. There we go. Done. Guys, easy peasy uh, jack. So nuke him in the first half, then uh, dodge let him in the second half. So let me know what you guys think of the fight down in the comment section below. Do you guys think it's a difficult fight or do you think it's an easy fight? Let me know what are your strategies for beating him. And of course, if you want to beat him free to play, 
Uh, are there methods? I think there are, but I don't think the normal cheese method works. I don't think you can book of burns and like kindred or something because of its backlash. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you can dodge slash though. It is seasonal. Yeah, you can dodge slash him all the way, but uh, ghost costume is seasonal. So I guess that's one way you can do it free to play as well. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out.